Since this veneer on the substrate is broken and you can see how jagged it is, I think I'm going to just go ahead and cut through the first layer of the substrate and the uh, veneer itself and uh, just kind of do a, a diagonal cut from the uh, center about this point and I do the same across here and I just try to blend in a new piece of veneer or a couple pieces actually just to build that up so it's nice and flat so when it's uh, lacquered over or uh, painted black it will uh, somewhat blend in. You can see that's not going to work out there. I'm going to have to go down just a little further. You can see I got the layer of veneer removed as well and the uh, substrate material. I'll do a little more cleanup and uh, get another substrate down, build this up, and then place a, a new piece of veneer on. And a thin sheet of basswood as my new substrate with just a little sanding required to get the uh, thickness that's desired. Using the aluminum foil as a guide, you can see I've got the new substrate in place just doing a dry fit. And some glue applied to uh, both sides now. As you can see, I left the piece a little taller. Once the glue dries, I'll go back and uh, sand this off with some coarse sandpaper. As you can see, I've cut the height down just about where I need it because I'm starting to uh, sand into the existing finish. Just a little more tweaking. After flipping the cabinet around now, just doing a little sanding on the substrate material that is the new substrate and just make sure it's nice and flush with the existing substrate material that's there. Just preparing it for the uh, new sheet of veneer. Just a little more tweaking at this point. And now creating the template for the uh, veneer cut. Again it doesn't have to be exact. The good thing is the uh, grain will be covered up with the black so this is an easier match so just trying to get things as close as possible and if you look really close you'll see the grain in this view is running uh, left to right or right to left top to bottom if the cabinet was uh, standing cutting a piece of scrap veneer that matches the uh, template and again, you can see the uh, grain orientation, so it does uh, somewhat match. Then applying some glue to the new substrate and the existing substrate, as well as the uh, back side of the uh, new piece of veneer. As you can see while holding the uh, veneer in place as the glue is not dry, just a little light sanding a lot of the uh, fragments or the uh, dust from the uh, veneer will fall down in the uh, crack and help hide the uh, repair.
Just like the substrate, you can see the height of the veneer is a little on the high side. Again, once this dries, I'll go back and uh, sand it off with coarse paper. As you guys can see, the uh, quarter round molding that was uh, in place in that channel is uh, compromised. So I'm using a, a 3 16th inch dowel and I've just sanded it uh, flat on one side and then a little rounding on the other side to place the uh, dowel in the uh, groove with some glue down in the uh, channel in addition to the uh, dowel itself. And you can see it's a nice uh, tight fit so I should be able to shape that and uh, you'll never know that it was uh, replaced hopefully. And just a little cleanup using a shop towel saturated in water then cutting the dowel and sanding it flat on that back corner. It's time to take a look at the uh, top of the veneer. What I'm going to try to do is use some uh, thin plastic and load it up with glue and then slide it up underneath there. You guys seen me do that before. And see if I can make it adhere well enough that I can actually do the stripping of the cabinet. Again, I know additional glue will be needed or maybe even replacement down the road so more to come in the upcoming video thanks for watching